Yo, what is going on guys, Bobby here, and today we actually have a super cool video that we haven't done in a really long time, and I'm super, super excited to get this one out for you guys. So we are recording a little bit early, um, I'm not tired at all, just a little bit early. Uh, today is Sunday, and if you guys live in America, or maybe even Canada, you guys know that football is back, and I'm super excited for football to be back, so I have to make this video before one, so all throughout the day I can just chill, watch some football, enjoy my day. But anyways, we're going to get on to what we're here for and that is some brawl stars gameplay now this has been literally a month and a half without this gameplay and we finally have some competitive now it's been a while since we've had comp we've been in about four tourneys since i've last made a video on it two of them we won but it was just absolute blowout so the gameplay wasn't good like it was just sweeps and just super uncompetitive and then other ones uh we just lost and they, they were either too long or they weren't competitive enough and it just wasn't good to show you guys. I didn't really want to. Um, I shattered out every time when we did lose, though. I shattered out the winners because they do deserve their praise if they do beat us. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna show two sets today. So we're in a final. Uh, we're in a tournament called Top Stars. Many good teams competed. Tribe, IX Gaming, of course, we did as SSG, um, Nova. I don't know if I said Nova already. Just a bunch of good teams, a t all ages. So it was tons and tons and tons of good players. Uh, first round we faced Jigsaw and Nova. We've managed to beat them. Then we went on to face Tribe and Alec, Feli, Usain, Colt. You guys know them. We went on to beat them. Uh, we beat a few teams and we went on to the semifinals. Against the semifinals we faced IX Gaming. So Kennedy, Min Wung, and a couple others. We're going to go into those games. We're going to show the semifinals gameplay. Then we're going to show the finals gameplay. So that being said, let's hop into the first games. Now let's show you guys what happened. So here we go into the first game. We decided... So the uh, Sorry. So the format of the tournament is you do heads or tails i'm pretty sure we won we did win yeah now that i see the map so we get to pick the first map and then you just take turns choosing maps so it's a best of three of, out of a best of three so the first one to win two games takes a set and then the first one to take two sets wins the whole thing so you guys can see we went with a comp of pam brock and penny we've used this comp a good amount here we don't know exactly if we like we've been using this more as a test for when we actually play in the uh, NA qualifier. It's the last one, so we have to make it this time. It's in a week today, so we're trying to practice as much as we can. So you guys can see we're just dominating lanes. Uh, we have the mid, we're able to win the left side. We tied on the first one. OG's able to kill King Garmo over there. And we're just chilling on that this left side. We're doing an amazing job on the Pam. Now Brock actually does counter Pam. So it is a little bit of a counter, but you do have to hit your shots. It's a little bit tough. We're kind of backing up Kennedy over there. You guys can see Tyrant's tapping King Garmo. OG is doing a great job at Min Wung. We're not going to give Kennedy a chance to heal. So we know he's in those bushes. We know he has a super. We're going to just keep poking away because we know he's around. We know he has a super. So we're going to try and bait it by putting that turret there. He's going to fall for it. We're going to be able to pick up the kill pretty easily. Tyrant Star is going to break the wall. You guys know how important it is to break that siege wall so your bot doesn't have to go all the way around and lose like 20-30%, but instead just go straight through the middle. And we're just doing really good over here. It's level 16 siege bot. With the open walls and a 16 siege bot, we told ourselves that we are going to one push. There's no way we're not going to. So we're going to put this in front of us. We're going to focus on shooting that safe. I'm aware of Min Wung on that right side, so I started to go towards him. He did back off myself and OG, but again, it doesn't really matter. Tyrant and the bot on the safe, and that is going to end the first game. So we did manage to secure star player, but everyone did their jobs. This is definitely just a team star player, as each and every single one of us won our lane. We did amazing, and that is one to nothing in this game. Let's hop into the next game. Let's see what happens. So for the next game, they picked this map, and they went with Canal Grande. So we banned Piper because Kennedy actually holds the record, I think, in North America for the highest Piper. It was broken this season by someone in EU, I think. So anyways, we decided to ban Piper, they banned Shelly, and I'm pretty comfortable playing Rosa on this map. OG is just a really good Brock, Tyrant Star is a good tick, so we decided that's why our comp would be this. I'm able to pick up a kill, but I'm also going to go down to Kangarmo, who has left out one shot, but I have my super, which is really, really good for us. I'm going to go up on this right side, and Kennedy was just off of my screen. I knew he was there, he didn't know I was there, so I was able to pick up an easy kill. Now, I have my super, so it's really easy for me to pick up a kill. I just need to be beside anybody, pop the super, and I'll be able to get it. I was hoping to catch Min Wun coming closer to us, but I wasn't able to. So I just went over here to help finish off King Garmo. We have four stars right now. The opponent, Our teammates have two, but they're doing a really, really good job. We're going to be able to walk up right on Min Wun over there and be able to pick up that kill. King Garmo is right on us. He's going to try and get a roll for the kill, but he's not able to do so. This kind of puts us in a weird spot, though, as we're forced into their spawn. We're going to go down. So it's currently 13 to 10. It's pretty close. Uh, Tyrant Star and OG doing a great job. We're just gonna go again up this left side. We have our super We're gonna get tapped twice by Kennedy. So we're low health 
but we know we have our super and they don't, so we're just going to chase King Garmo around there. We're going to be able to pick up the kill, and then Kennedy traps himself by putting himself in that corner. We're able to pick up the kill. King Garmo obviously is going to roll on us, but we have our shield. He didn't know that until we killed Ken, so we are able to stay alive, and OG is able to finish him off with the super. You can see Tyrant Star is on that right side. OG has super. He's going to hit that thing once. I'm just going to basically punch it to death, I guess. And we're just chilling over here. We're in a pretty bad position. King Garmo's probably going to try a roll, if I remember. Yeah, he's going to try a roll. He's going to go right past us. We're going to be able to pick up a kill on Ming Woon. Pop our shield. Be able to kill King Garmo. Give a little bit of a BM spin. We went right into that Brock shot, which is a little bit disappointing because we gave them a free kill. But at this point, it doesn't really matter. We already won the game, so I'm just walking up. Kind of just soaking up shots just because why not we already know we won and that is going to end the second game we're now up one to nothing in sets you have to win two sets to move on let's hop into the next game and let's see what happens so for the next game we decided to do junk park and we ran mirror comps i'm pretty sure the bands were piper and if i do remember it was gene so just mirror comps over here tyron's gonna be able to pick up that first star no, sorry, sorry, I mean uh, Bolt. Ming Woon has a rank 35 BB. He got it this season, so he's definitely warmed up on the BB. The ball is just going to miss me, but I'm going to be forced back over here. So far, we are doing a decent job at staying alive, but we're not able to pick up kills. Tyrone's going to be able to pick up Kennedy over there. Or the kill on Kennedy. I kind of just soaked the shot to be able to get my super and as well get that Bolt. And right off the top, I mean, I'm just shooting that bot, not even letting it come close to us. Going to let it come into the zone by a little bit. And then I'm going to start shooting at it again and purposely die. So I'm going to go down over there. The bot's been just destroyed, basically. They did 6% because of two tick shots. And now the bolts are 3 to nothing. So they have pretty good possession. I see an opportunity where I have my dash. So I decided to just go for that bolt. On the right side, somehow I went right through it and I didn't get it. I don't know exactly how. But this did lead me to getting some position, although the tick is all over me right now, so it's a little bit hard. Minwing's going to push me back, but that's fine, as, you know, that's not really going to do anything. I'm just going to push me back, keep me alive, and Minwing was trapped over here. So most people would think I'm just going to go towards the bolt, so I started to move up, and then I just went right back towards Minwing, got an easy kill. OG's doing really good uh, as mid, same with Tyrant Star, really holding down their lanes. The current bolts are 2-4, to four. we just picked up one, so it's going to be 3-4. to four. We could have gone all in, but we decided to play it a little bit safe and to just hold the mid since we have possession right now, we think we can beat them. I have Kennedy on my lane, I've been playing a lot of bull as of late, as you guys know, so I'm pretty comfortable in my bull 1v1s. The tick uh, super's just going to tie off with each other. We picked up every bolt so far, we almost went down over here due to tick shots, but that's fine. We have significantly less HP than Kennedy, so we're not able to pick up that bolt. This next bolt over here is really what matters, and as long as he, they don't get it, it's fine. So I decided to kind of suicide and sacrifice myself, go for the tie, so we're able to win by one bolt. That's going to get us the dub, so we're just going to go up the map over here. Tyrant and OG did a really good job on their lane. I had a little bit of difficulty. Um, I think everyone kind of had a little bit of difficulty, but it was fine because we were able to win it at the end. We're able to pick up the kills. We're going to finish the Siege bot, and that is the end of the third game. So we're up 1-0 in sets and 1-0 in this current game. All we need is one more game to be able to take the dub. Let's go into the next game, and let's see what happens. Okay, so into the next game, they chose Pit Stop, which isn't a bad pick. We knew that they were going to go BB because Minwoon loves his BB, but I decided to just go the Shield BB because I'm trying it out. Again, we're just trying out new things in this tournament. Uh, we're going to have a tick on Barley matchup, which is usually pretty good. Kennedy's going to go straight for the safe, and we just thought, you know, we out damaged them. Three out damages one. Tyrant is rage, so we're going to go for it. So all, us three are on the safe. Honestly, if we were a Barley, we probably would have finished it over here. But since he's a tick, we're not going to be able to finish it. We got it super, super low, though, which is fine. We're able to back off uh, Min Woon over there, and unfortunately, we got hit by King Garmo, so we weren't able to finish off Ming Woon. But we're able, or sorry, King. We only got min, but we weren't able to do some good damage to the save. Tyrant's just chilling on this left side over here. It looks like Kennedy's lagging a little bit, but I'm not sure. Tyrant's just kind of bullying his way up that left side. He's able to kill uh, Kennedy. He's going to go right on the save. He's going to finish it, and that's going to end it. So that was a really convincing set, which moved us into the finals. So at this point, it is we swept them. We have two sets. Uh, we won both 2-0, so it's 4 nothing on them. And now we go into the, we won the winner's finals. Now there's also a loser's bracket, which means if you're knocked out in the middle of the tournament, you go on to the loser's bracket. And the team that won the loser's bracket was Alex, second best, Feli, and Usain. You guys know all those four players, four unbelievably good players. 
So what happens is, since there's a, you get an extra award for winning the winner's bracket. So if you win the winner's bracket, then you only have to win the finals once. But if you win the loser's bracket, you have to win the finals twice. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the time to um, show everything. It would just make a way too long video. But I'll give a give a brief summary. So we started off by facing them. We picked Factory Rush, but I think they knew our comp because they had a pretty big counter. So they're able to pick up. They squeezed out a win over there. Then we went on to Pinhole Punt. We were able to pick up the dub, which made it 1-1. to one. Then we go to Double Swoosh, and it was really, really close. The gems were like 13-12. to 12, But at the end, they managed to take home the dub. We moved on to Backyard Bowl after the sets are 1-0. We won this, which brought the sets to uh, The set was 1-0. Then the game goes 1-0. Then we lost Junk Park by 2%. That was brutal. I can't believe we lost that. Uh, a little bit of a throw, but that's fine. And then we go on to Super Stadium and we lose by one goal. So really close games and they won round one. Now, obviously, I'm not going to show you the next games because it spoils. So we're going to hop into the games now. This is just the permanent final. So whoever wins this wins all the money, everything, the, even more than the money. The bragging rights are on the line here. We're all super close friends. So we're all like joking around with each other and poking fun at each other. So this is the last round whoever wins this has the bragging rights until next journey super super huge for us so let's hop into the games and let's see what happens so we got the first pick because we picked correctly we were undefeated in heads or tails i don't know what that was we went like eight no but we picked canal grande because we've never lost a game in canal grande now they did have a counter so i think they did know our comp so we're on this left side again second best we're doing pretty good over here og is able to pick up a tap on second so i have the upper hand and then out of nowhere alec is he just taps us and second survives with 900 hp because of it so already down three to nothing it's very imperative with our comp that we take the early lead because we have a penny so we have to force pressure it's kind of hard to build your penny turret so again i'm just going in these bushes i thought og was gonna jump and stun second he didn't end up doing so so i took a ton of damage over there we had really bad communication i'm gonna pop my super so at least me popping my super is able to get us the kill on second best but still i'm gonna go down and Tyrant still doesn't have his super. OG's just chilling on that right side. He has to jump there or else he would have been hit by that spike RNG. I'm trying to move up now on this right side. A little bit of poor communication because nobody told me second best was there. I'm going to go down for a third time this game. So this is by far my worst game of the tournament. Um, not a lot of good work being done over here by us. I went up on this left side for a second. Sorry for that notification. Just turn off my ringer. And up on the left side, I realized it was way too open. So I have to go down this right side. OG versus Alec on Piper, you do expect OG to win that. I tried to bait out second best super, but I wasn't able to do so. Gonna pop out my super, and again, I'm getting 2v1. Tyrant was really unaggressive, and at this point, I'm like, Tyrant, you have to help me. Um, I'm just getting 2v1 every time. I need some teammates to help. He finally got the turret. It's 11 to 3, with only 30 seconds left, and then the turret's just, just shooting kind of away. Um, second best is going to waste the super over there. I don't really know what that was for, as I gave us a positive trade. OG is going to tap Alec over there, and that's going to give us a two, uh, like just a game of two. Only two star difference. OG is going to tap Feli over there. He's just barely going to miss Feli. We're walking up this left side over here. Tyrant's able to get the tap on Feli, and we're just going back over here. We managed to come back. Second's going to try and kill us. He's not going to be able to. We're going to win by one star. We were down eight. We got 11 straight stars without them responding. We're able to pick up the dub. OG definitely carried this game you know i had my kills or my kill tyrant had his kill but og definitely gave out the carry so really good game over there by og he's definitely the reason we won we put him on his strongest brawler and that clearly showed when we squeaked out the victory so we're up one nothing in the game let's hop into the next one hopefully we can wrap up the set and make it one to nothing sets or maybe they'll tie it let's hop into it and let's see what happens so here we go on to power shot which is a new brawl ball map and we have pretty similar comps we thought that they were going to spike and they didn't, which made this one a little bit hard for us. We chose the Shield BB because I, I kind of like the Shield BB. I don't know why, but it seems to work with us. I went over here to go and pick up this ball. I kind of missed it by a second. I think that actually will cost me a goal. I'm not sure. No, it didn't cost me the goal. I almost had a goal. I was like a second away, but unfortunately, we weren't able to get it. OG is going to be able to pick up the kill over there on second. The super is going to be wasted, but that's fine because they're applying really, really good pressure on second best. OG's gonna be able to get the kill. This is a little bit of BM, because second should have killed him there. And we're just making our way up the map. So same thing as before, we're just gonna try and hold the lane. We've been beating second best all day on BB, so we're just gonna try and continue doing so. Alex's gonna do a good job jumping in the middle and doing some prep and getting a kill on Tyrant, but Tyrant's just gonna be barely be able to pick up that kill. We're gonna be able to bait out second best shot and move up the lane again second. We're gonna be able to hit him back. 
and that's going to give us our super. Again, second's going to hit us. It's not really going to do too much damage though since we got that shield on. And Alex trying to hit us. He's not going to be able to do much. I'm able to knock back second. Going to get a really good bubble out. Going to take out second and Alex. So at this point, we should be able to score a goal. Unfortunately, a bubble did hit me. And we weren't able to get good pressure because Tyrant and OG are both weak. They're both low HP brawlers. And Tyrant stars on that, you know, I mean, sorry, not Tyrant. And Feli's just on that tick, so he's covering up a lot of ground. OG's able to get that kill on Alec. And again, second best is just kind of being a little bit passive right now. He's going to be trapped on that side. He's going to be double supered. And at this point, it's just going to be a walk-in. So we're going to be able to kill that BB head. I'm just going to shoot the ball in the net. And that is going to be a one to nothing lead for us with 50 seconds left. So we're doing a pretty good job. Tyrant Star has to go on the left side because the spike curveball goes in a clockwise rotation. That's not good if you're shooting on the right side. We're able to back off Feli. We're able to get the kill on Alec. And second best is going to go down. We're going to pass the ball to Tyrant Star. And he's just going to walk that ball in the net. And that is going to end the set. So we're up now 1-0 in sets going to the new one. That was a really well played game from all three of us. I mean, it was close, but at the end of the day, they never had pressure on us. We pressured them the whole time. And that's all that's important. So we're going to hop into the next game. Third game of the match. Let's hop into it and let's see what happens. So we're going to go into Sandy Gems. And the comp we chose was Rico, Piper, and Bull. And they went with Nita. Primo and Bull. And the reason we went with the Rico and the Piper is because we thought that they were going to use tankier brawlers. So we thought we'd just back them off and be able to do high damage and not let them close to us. I didn't know Alec left the bush. Tyrant wasn't in VC. This tournament was five hours. We were playing this past midnight. So Tyrant couldn't be too loud. He couldn't voice chat. Um, so I started moving up over here. I'm able to get onto Alec and OG. Again, doing a great job. He's able to tap him. We have Feli right over here. So we're able to tap Feli. We're able to get that kill. I'm asking OG to break this middle wall right over there as that would help me a lot. Me and OG just pinched high, uh, second really easily. Same thing with Alec. We hit a full clip on him. OG taps him twice. And at this point, Feli like clicks a link or something by accident. So he's going to go down. That's a free kill. And we're just damaging second over here. He's not able to hit us. He's a little bit too uh, far. We don't know where second is right now. Not 100% sure. So we have to play a little bit more defensive. We knew Alec was over there. We're going to hit a full clip on second. going to spin on him because he should have had that kill. But that's, you know, we full clipped him. I told OG not to worry about defense. I knew Alec was going to kill me, but I'm just telling OG, go up, do some damage. Alec is going to just be chilling over here. I'm spinning on Alec because I know we have a lead. I know we're probably going to win this game and we're friends, so why not? I'm going to get the super off, but the bounces just don't go in my favor. If I was Alec, I would have spun on me <laughs> because I was spinning, but it doesn't matter. He's going to rush out. Second best is going to jump. It's not going to do too much. We're going to get a super off. It's not going to do the best, but we're able to pick up the kill on second best anyways. All we need is one tap. OG is going to jump forward, and he's not able to get the second shot, but he's able to get the first and the third. And that's going to kill their safe. So, one nothing in sets, one nothing in the current one. All we need is one more game to be able to pick up the, uh, the first place, the winners, the bragging rights, everything we want. Just one more game away. Let's hop into it. Hopefully, we got the win. Let's check it out, and let's see what happens. Okay, so here's the game. We're going in on Super Stadium. And again, we got beat by this comp actually earlier against the same team um, in the actual previous finals round. So we were like, okay, we're going to run this comp. They're obviously running the same comp because it's their comp. OG's able to pick up a kill, and we're just laning against second best over here. We've been beating him all day. So we're confident. We're spinning on him since we're, we've been beating him all day. We're going to pick up the ball over here. I tell OG break right walls. He's going to jump up. He's going to break them. I thought second was going to knock us back. He wasn't able to because for some reason he didn't have a stun. So he's going to walk that ball in the net. Easy goal. And that's going to be the one to nothing lead for us. So two minutes now currently left in this game. I know the right side is broken. So there is potential for a shot. I pick up the ball. Honestly, I think I should have scored here. But I gave that one right to Feli. Kind of disappointed with myself that I didn't put that one in the net. My shot has been the worst um, by far. That's been something I have to improve upon. My, I used to be really, really good at scoring goals, and for some reason I've been slacking on it. I did have a really nice goal against this team earlier, but I definitely have to improve upon that right now. So I pick up the ball as I'm kind of just like the ball carrier since we have Tyra and OG just sniping and covering as much land as possible. Um, he's going to be able to super that right side. Good play by Alec by picking up that ball and putting it to that right side. We're kind of just juking shots over here. We got some, we severely misplayed. One thing you don't want to do as BB is walk right into another BB, and that's what we did. We had the easy win against second, except we messed that up. So we're going to go down. OG, oh, I mean, that's just a really easy fight over there against Feli. He had Feli trap. He's probably going to be able to pick up the kill. If I was able to get a knockback and pick up the ball, I would have had a ghoul, but we weren't able to. 
Uh, Alec is going to tap me, so we're going to go down. We had another easy win against second, but we got two tapped. 50 seconds left in the game. BBs are kind of just to force pressure and trying to get goals. The, the Barley and the Piper is just to hold ground. So if you notice, we're dying a lot, but someone like Tyrant or OG is it? That is why. We're able to hit up, we're able to get one shot off on our BB uh, bubble, but so that's okay. It was kind of just like a random shot to push them back. Philly's doing his best to push us back, but nothing's really happening. We're gonna miss our knockback shot on second. We're gonna pick up the ball. We don't really want to have the ball though because it gives us our shield, and when we pass the ball, we lose our shield. So we're just going to walk up again close to a goal. We're not going to be able to fire the shot. Really good defense over there by Alec and Feli. If Alec didn't get a good tap, we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have gotten the kill. OG's going to kill Alec. Uh, Tyrant Star is going to be able to push them back. And at this point, the game's basically over. Five seconds left. I start spinning. OG starts spinning. They're just going to put their, <laughs> the ball in their own net because they know it's over. And that is going to end it. And now I know earlier in the video, I said I don't want to show like the 4-0 as the quick sweeps. But this is totally different than a normal 4-0. Every game basically went the distance against them. It was an insane series. And even though we won 4-0, it could have been something totally different. So GG's to them. They're an amazing team. They've knocked us out of they knocked us out of the last tourney, which was gamely. So again, huge GG's to them. They're a really good team. That's gonna be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the competitive gameplay. I know it's been a really long time since we've had it on the channel. And I'm definitely gonna try and get more of it back. PBL, which is an amazing league, is starting up again soon. So every week I'm gonna be able to have gameplay. And as well as there's just more tournaments coming around now. So definitely going to be able to get that for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. That's going to be it for today. And yeah, I hope everyone enjoys their Sunday. That's going to be it. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.